Welcome to the simple neuroscience of dopamine. Okay, we've talked about dopamine in a bunch of different settings, from impulse control to reward and even metacognition. So what is it really, and what is a neurotransmitter? Well, first let's talk about nerves and the brain. Nerves are nothing more than electrical cords connecting different parts of the body and the brain. However, unlike a normal power cord, they have more settings than just on and off. Let's imagine you have a power cord that, depending on what outlet it's plugged into, will change the color of the light bulb that it's attached to. Neurotransmitters are the chemical versions of different outlets to plug into. They jump the little gaps between the neurons and modify the signal. So what does dopamine do that's different from other neurotransmitters? Well, confusingly, dopamine sends both the signal to learn and the signal to move. How does this work? Well, it depends on where the chemical is. If neurons in the substantia nigra pars compacta, which is where dopamine is made, are stimulated, it's more likely to cause movement. Whereas stimulation of the ventral tegmental area can lead to more motivated behavior towards a goal. In ADHD, there's a decrease in presynaptic amounts of dopamine produced. This means that it is harder for both tasks and actions to be initiated and for reward-based learning to occur. Imagine in the light bulb situation, you had one outlet that had a lower voltage than the others. So you could still change the color of the bulb, but it would always be dimmer than the other colors. However, just because one color is dimmer doesn't mean that the other colors aren't super bright. So this is why we need to lean into student strengths and use a ton of reward-based learning with all executive function skills. Thank you for watching.